The first time we did it, people really loved it. So of course I'm gonna do it again. Every time I do a video with my dad, it attracts new viewers. So I, I like saying this every time. If you don't know, my dad has been on a bunch of Food Network shows like Iron Chef, Top Chef Masters and stuff like that. And has been cooking for over 40 years. So I like introducing him to sort of like the new generation of stuff. And a lot of it is on TikTok. TikTok is one of the biggest apps, obviously. You guys probably know what it is. I often see food recipes and just funny food stuff on there. So we're gonna get into those. I have a bunch saved that I thought he might find interesting. Before I start the video, I just wanna thank HelloFresh for sponsoring the video. I really love their product. I don't like working with companies when I don't actually enjoy their product. I used it all throughout university back when I was in university away from my dad who usually cooks for me. For those of you who don't know what HelloFresh is, HelloFresh is a customizable meal kit service that that delivers fresh and pre-portioned ingredients straight to your door based on your schedule. All the ingredients you need to cook up your meal are included right in your box and delivered right to your door. So you don't need to worry about grocery lines, driving to the grocery store, forgetting your grocery list and stuff like that. HelloFresh uses fresh ingredients all year long and one of my favorite things about them is probably that the ingredients are pre-portioned so you never really waste anything. It's good for your carbon footprint and yeah, overall it's just better for the environment. HelloFresh is also very customizable so take the guesswork out of your meal with a dinner plan that suits your lifestyle. There's over 25 recipes each week, including vegetarian options, carb friendly, etc. It's super easy to manage your meal plans because they actually have a HelloFresh app and you can even choose your meals up to a month in advance. You can even skip deliveries if you're out of town or change your delivery address. So when I was a student, I would often go back home for like a week or two weeks during Christmas break and I would change the delivery address to back home as opposed to when I was in Montreal. And I can't stress enough, you only need to order what you want and there's no commitments to, oh, I don't like fish, so fish is on the menu today. No, you can fully customize your meal plans. And as I said before, the customizable option are truly the best thing about HelloFresh as they have a program called Smart Meals which features carb and calorie smart recipes. So the planning, the prep, and the delivery is all taken care of. All you get to do is the fun stuff. So you just cook up the delicious meal and it's ready to go. Yeah, growing up with two amazing cooks in my household, I never I never cooked that much until I went away. I'm just so happy using HelloFresh. I get to learn different cooking techniques that I never learned, like basic ones that you should definitely know. Because the recipe card that they give you are super simple. Each step is outlined with photos and everything. If you want to support me and support a company I genuinely like working with and like using you can use my code just my name jet bentley right here so if you want to try out hellofresh be sure to use my code you'll get 80 dollars off with purchase including free shipping on your first box if you use my code a big thank you to hellofresh again always love working with them <laughs> my airpods never stay in your ear <laughs> <laughs> I have not a problem. <laughs> I got many problems, eh? Can't speak, can't add, can put can't put cook. Can't cook. <laughs> Do you remember the last episode we did of this? What are we doing? I don't even. So, you know what TikTok is now, at least, right? Are we doing TikTok? Food TikTok. You know, actually, the word TikTok, you know what that means, right? It's coming from... ready for another 10 minute rant. <laughs> no, I'm saying TikTok, it means very fast. Clock. It's like a clock. Tick tock. Yeah, done. Pretty smart name, no? Very smart because China. Gonna move on. Yeah. I'm gonna show my dad some more food TikToks. Gonna get his reaction. Ready for the first one? Wait, wait, you can't see it. She. Stuffing. Stuff. Surround wrap. Wave. Microwave. And then eat. And that's called the turkey stuffing. Yeah. Like, the, what do I think? Oh my God. It's like, let's talk about like, do they don't have the time right now to actually make a chicken that they have to do like that. Now everything right now is pandemic. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number two is like, are they that busy? Remember in the first episode, the girl who made the steak in the toaster? That's her. Yeah. So her thing is sort of like, she doesn't actually eat it probably. Just like a joke. Oh yeah, it is a f***ing joke. <laughs> it is a f***ing joke. Today we're making TikTok's famous cloud bread. And guess what? It's so easy to make. Start by separating three eggs. Place just the whites into a mixing bowl. Whip them until they become frothy. I recommend using an electric mixer because it's much easier. Add in 30 grams of sugar, which is about two and a half tablespoons. Once combined, add in 10 grams of cornstarch, which is about one tablespoon. I also added some vanilla and blue food coloring just because it adds a great flavor and a really cool color. Whip the egg white mixture until it becomes really, really stiff. Place the egg white mixture onto a parchment paper lined baking sheet. Form it into whatever shape you want. I did this sort of half sphere blob. And place that thing into a 300 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Here's the big reveal. TikTok cloud bread. It tasted really good. Kind of like meringue. For more content, check out my Instagram or YouTube. Today I feel like it doesn't actually taste good. 
it's like egg, like you know, egg bread sort of like. Yeah, it's like angel cake. Actually, there is a recipe. It's like a souffle. So it's but not bad. It's not bad. I mean, if you just want, it's it's not uh, unhealthy to eat that actually without the calorie. I think uh, with this, you know what is would be really good. You know, usually a whipping cream with fruit preserve, I think would be quite nice. Mini beef Wellington. <laughs> it's just like you laugh. Mini, mini spoon. Okay. Mini pan. Yeah. Mini mushroom. Mm -hmm. It looks like a, an Asian uh, uh, person is doing this mustard. Mushroom. Pup pastry. Oh, using even prosciutto in there. A little pup pastry. I mean, it's Bread like. It's, what to beat it to uh, to put it to glaze it? I mean, it's 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 like making a small little dumpling is essentially. Um, but the idea is great. <laughs> okay, you know, like as a chef, if you are, I I I've been making well in beef well into my whole life almost. Like you know, see something like that, it just makes you giggle, like a little laugh inside. It's entertaining. It's like, oh, okay. The person's account is tiny kitchens. They only do tiny meals. People Love always think things. big. Now you have to think small things. Why do you say there's an Asian person cooking? Small? <laughs> <laughs> I'ma show you how we eat cactuses. I know white people, you're a little bit shook right now. These are no palitos. They're a little bit slimy, but we finna get rid of that. You ain't trying to be eating mocos for dinner. You gonna boil them with some onion and a lot of salt. We gonna remove all of that mucusy stuff. Make you a spicy salsa. Don't matter if you get heartburn, drink milk. You gonna wash them out real good so all that snot goes away. Send the salsa up now. You gonna saute some tomatoes, some onions, and you gonna throw them no the palitos in there. The palitos, I like obviously. Queso fresco on top with some Mexican rice. Ooh, que rico. Ooh. I mean, cactus the other night, right? I did, yeah, I made a salsa. And I actually, you know, follow a recipe of a friend of mine, also a, sh a great chef in America. His, his name is called Rick Bayless. He actually one Top Chef master. Rick so Bayless. He's like and then we were cooking in uh, Mexico City. In, uh, we had dinner, we had lunch together. <laughs> That's <laughs> Tom Rick Bayless. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to tell not, a story? Talking about like, this one, not Rick Bayless. That's how I got to know that recipe. Oh, okay. Get what I'm saying? <laughs> that, everything has a story. It's not like tick tock, tock tick tock, tock tick, and then it's done. You get what I mean? <laughs> everything has a process. We have a little bit of more time. Everything has a little bit of history. Everything has a little bit of that kind of what I call wisdom, right? Yes. Experience. So. Okay, Nick Steve, that's yours. Oh, that looks disgusting. Oh my god, I don't want to see that. This one. Why do people like watching this stuff, you think? It's yeah, because good. it's disgusting, right? Okay, i seen this woman does this kind of shit before, and she did it with also with a cow penis braise. Is that a turtle? Yes. You can eat that? Yeah. Well, yeah, you can eat it not like that. Why is she eating it like that, though? It's just fing disgusting, and she just wants to have people like. You know what? Okay, all of these uh, 206,000 people came. Comment. Comment. Okay, how many positive are there negative? I, I think it's so fucking disgusting. Praying for the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Someone said. Turtles. Yeah, but you know, the thing is like, it's just uh, bringing the really bad spirit about a person. You know what I mean? If you can do yucky things uh, to your body, mm -hmm. that's bad spirit. That's evil spirit. That's not even bad. You got to respect the product. You got to respect the produce. When you eat something, mm -hmm. you got to respect it. Not just like the fact like the barbarians. You know, you, you're, you're living in the 20th century. How we don't want to eat like that. This is a gooey duck clam. Now I know it looks silly. We can all be adults about this. It's squirting a little bit. It's squirting a little bit. I have a couple fun facts for you. This is one of the longest living animals in the animal kingdom with an average age of about 140 years. And look at all the layers it's built up over oh, those wow. years. This awesome. one is about eight years old and they're really, really hard to get. Gooey duck clams are not easy to find. People say they taste a little bit like cucumber and that they're pretty crunchy. Head on over to my YouTube channel to watch me cook this thing. What do you think of gooey duck? 
Well, I, I, I like eating them. Many years ago, I remember, you know, when I first uh, had my own restaurant, Lotus, 20 years ago, they, they have selling gooey duck from Vancouver. Mm -hmm. You know, it was very accessible from the Pacific Ocean, right? And it was so cheap, nobody was eating it. And suddenly, the price went berserk because a lot of these things been shipped to Asia. There's the demand, right? Because of how it looks and stuff, you think? No, I think it's not. I think it's the texture. I think people wanted to eat things which is like it's a clam family that you can actually eat um, with saute, you know, and also braising and sashimi. People like that. It's really, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's a very nice seafood. It's a very nice shellfish. But what I just learned about is it is one of the oldest clams in the world. This is nine years old or eight years old. How many? eight years or how many years they're going to produce another one you get what i'm saying but now there are a lot of farm raised but they don't taste the same really i think they this this kind of a uh, gooey duck uh should be protected for sure this smoked watermelon ham is one of the craziest things i've ever eaten on my food adventure journey an entire watermelon is scored brined and then smoked exactly like a ham what you get is a great melding of sweet smoky and salty your brain will not understand but your mouth will be happy Huh, interesting. Watermelon. You ever seen something like that? No, I never seen anything like that. I, I, I'm good? just trying to understand. Well, actually, you know, when you cook watermelon, because the water has been actually reduced and the fiber change over watermelon, they become actually soft. Mm -hmm. It's like a cooked cucumber, right? Mm -hmm. And I think actually would taste good. Beside that recipe, you can do other other things with, you know, you can do a char siu style watermelon. I think it would probably taste good too. Really? Yeah. Do you like that idea? I like that idea. But the watermelon got to be really sweet. You know, it got to be in season. Don't buy the one just like any watermelon in off season. Mm -hmm. You got to be the right season for that. So you know Gordon Ramsay does TikTok now too, eh? No way. I want to yeah. see what he does. Okay, DIY room service. Is that a nine? What about some salt? No, not for an egg and a coffee percolator. Really? Salt, salt, salt. I mean, nice color. To be honest, that looks like some decent food. Certainly some of the best food I've seen in any hotel. Oh wow, that's they brilliant. It, they cook it in a hotel room. That iron. is brilliant, that's really brilliant. Really? You know, oh yeah, that's smart. Okay, you know, that's something is called surviving uh, mentality, right? Now, if you think about your generation right now, do you think the way how he thinks? It's just no way. This is someone who has been really understanding how to, the word is like, you know, utilize everything, doing the best you can. I can, you know, I can try, I would do it. You know, it's not like just calling a, a, a car and waiting for you outside, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, I totally, I totally, I really like that. Really? Yes, yes, I do. You know, they're making mochi, eh? Really? Yeah. Like, I thought this one was cool. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, these corn ribs need to be the next trending food. They're so fun, and I don't know why, but it's oh, way wow. more satisfying to eat corn this way. First, we're going to need to cut the corn on the cob. Some people say to hack at a knife with a rolling pin, but A, that didn't work, and B, it's just way too complicated. I found that if you stand it up straight and give it a firm push, it cuts right through. Now cut those half pieces in half again until you have four ribs like so. In a bowl, add some olive oil, lemon pepper, garlic powder, chili powder, black pepper, smoked paprika, and a pin then brush it onto your corn ribs. You can also fry or bake these, but I air fried them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes and flipped ones halfway through. Our chipotle lime mayo, we combined all these ingredients on the screen. And just look how freaking cute they are. I added my sauce. It's <laughs> to make it lightly elotis inspired, so I added cotilla cheese and cilantro. Enjoy. Oh. Okay, you know, uh, this is a brilliant idea. Uh, you know, because, you know, train chef never thought about cut the corn on the cob with the core. So I don't know how it tastes, but uh, how do people think about this stuff? You know, it's it, it off the cob, right? Yeah, but you know what the thing is? I'll think outside of the box, right? If you are trained, when you're trained, it means you don't think outside of the box that way. This is creativity. You have to be almost like, give you a complete unknown product. Okay, what, what would you do with it? It's like a little kid. You ask him a, a, a question, mm -hmm. they would give you a different answer than an adult. Mm -hmm. And that is it's all about. I love that. Because you had to think like a kid. Mm -hmm. Final answer, think like a kid. So for some reason my camera died when we were filming the outro, but I filmed the outro on this small camera. So I'll let you do the honors. Say Thank what though? Subscribe, thanks for watching, like the video. Oh, press the button? Yeah. Please subscribe. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't. <laughs> that is going to be... Okay, wait, wait. Uh, let me turn around. 
please subscribe. If you like the video, press the love button. Like button. <laughs> press the like button. If you like the video, press the like button. Goodbye. One more time. Please. <laughs> okay. Please subscribe. If you liked the video, please press <laughs> the like button. Plus? <laughs> I can't fucking do it. I can't do it. I couldn't believe it. My brain is not working. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's it's fine. fucking coronavirus. Later.